football is it's not just Ghana here. It's not it's not just the GFA. It is more than the GFA. I say, I say, Egu, I'm not the minimum. So I'm not. I'm not the quarter face here. I'm not the edge. I'm not the corner. So I'm not the edge. So we are here at the Independence Square, where we are witnessing the climax of the Save Ghana Football demonstration. It's been heated so far. We've been able to um, speak with some of the protesters. And I, all I can tell you is that the passion that lies here is actually, actually very huge. We've seen the likes of sports journalists. We've seen Sadiq Adams. We've seen uh, Countryman Songo. We've seen Gary Al Smith. We've seen a lot of industry players here to actually redeem the image of Ghana football, or what they, they call as they are being hurt by Kurt. Now, we'll also be speaking to them to give you all the updates you will need on T-Extra. So, good morning. Thank you. Now, goodness. first of all, I'd like to ask, what actually called for this demonstration? We've never seen this type before. What actually is the cause of this demonstration? Well, you've never seen it before. Extraordinary situations and circumstances call for extraordinary measures and actions. Mm -hmm. We have, our football has never gotten this low. To attend two African Cup of Nations on the throat and exist in the group stage, we want to see a revival of our game. Football is a passion of the nation, and it is evident that it's dying in the hands of people who say they want to manage it. We, we can clearly see that the remedies that they have proffered and applied has not worked. We want all Ghanaians to come on board, express their grievances, to let them know that they have to sit up because the game it's our soul, the game is our passion. So personally, what would you love to be done? We have presented a 10 point petition with other annexes, things that we think can be done to change the game. We are presenting it to Parliament, the Ghana Football Association, Ministry of Sports, NSA, and all agencies and bodies involved in the running of the game. If they want to apply it, we will follow it short term, medium term and long term, and also be keen to ensure that those things have been effectuated. Thank you so much for the time. Oh, I'm here to fight for a better football for Ghana. Yeah. Well, there are a lot of concerns as to what GFA should do, what the sports ministry should do. What actually do you think? What specific thing do you think the GFA needs to put into consideration to save Ghana football? Look, me standing here right now, I've been to um, the juvenile games before. I played for my school, I played for districts, and then I played for regionals, which is Greater Accra. Do you get it? But now, that thing, that inter schools or the juvenile game, it doesn't work anymore. Do you get it? And um, some people are very talented, but family wise, they cannot support them. So if the ministry or if the GF is set up an academy, we have Right to Dream, which is doing, performing very well. The GFA can do the same thing and then groom these young ladies and then groom these young uh, men to be like to come out and then represent Ghana. Do you get it? Because it's not all the time that people, a family will train their individual children and then they'll go and excel outside and then the GFA will just go and call them and then they'll come in. That's not how Ghana used to play. You, we've been to tournaments at Samojan's time. I said this on. Uh, a, a different station, but let me state it here clearly again. See, during Asamojan's time, I match with Serbia. I have a friend who is married to a Serbian man because of that uh, football relationship. So, as it stands now, we have people trooping into Cape Verde. Do you get it? It's because of their performance, so they've been exposed to the like world. Do you get it? So, football is it's not just Ghana here. It's not it's not just the GFA. It is more than the GFA. Look at the number of people standing here. I've never been to a demonstration in Ghana before, but I'm here and then I'm here for football. Do you get so the GFA can do better. They can do better. And this time around it's a wake up call for them. They might not get it this way again. That is if they don't put in much work, they might not get it this way again. Yeah. <laughs>
Good morning, sir. Hi. Now, first of all, I would like to ask, why did you decide to join this demonstration today? Oh, I just got back. I keep saying this a uh, hundred times. I just got back from uh, Ivory Coast, the World Cup, uh, sorry, the African Cup. And, um, you know, watched the tournament, got involved. I was with Team Ghana. They were eliminated and spent time with uh, Nigeria. In fact, I was with Nigeria almost throughout. And it's a stark contrast to, you know, the reception the Nigerians received back home, even though they lost. And we witnessed the um, parade for Ivory Coast. And what football is doing in Ivory Coast is completely different to what football is doing in Ghana. So for me, um, I don't think I'll be doing myself, my audience, my, you know, the football public any good by sitting at home or, you know, uh, behind my console, you know, on TV just to talk. So I need to get here and, and you know, gauge the emotions, the feelings and know exactly how to also carry that message, you know. We're all football people, yourself, everybody here walking with me. Those, so we shouldn't make it look like um, it is them against us. It is bad journalists against good GFA. No, no, no. The moment we do that, then we have a bigger problem. So it's important that all of us get involved. And I saw a lady there. She must be in her 70s with a placard. And a few men, old men, also look like you know they're in their 70s or even 80s. And if they are coming out to speak for the masses, then we need to also understand and respect that. So I'm here to show solidarity with my colleague journalists. And also, as a football person, uh, beach soccer is part of the GFA, so I can't divorce myself from GFA, even though I don't take direct decisions about the Black Stars. I still see myself as a football person. So I need to get here, engage, you know, meet people, feel their anger. A lot of guys saw me and they started to vent, complaining. I think it's good. We need to do that and we need to be tolerant and listen to all views. And then when things calm down, we move forward, sit around the table and try to work a solution. Right. Yeah. So I know Sadiq, Mr. Sadiq Aramis is uh, presenting a 10-piece uh, plan to Parliament and the GFA as a guideline. Um, are we looking at also encouraging the fans to also cool their temper? Because I went to the grounds it's very hot in there. You could feel the anger and rage in every single person. Do you think that we, the citizens, also have a part to play in all this? So what we're seeing on the ground represents Ghana. We shouldn't, um, we shouldn't make the mistake to say or to think this, these are minorities demonstrating or these are people who have nothing to do. I've met a couple of uh, people from different you know, professional backgrounds. So we need to respect everybody and also listen to their views. What will happen if you don't allow that and listen is that we could have another Anas where people would plot, plan, and we don't want a situation where someone like Keto Kriku is made, is another victim of, I'm using the word victim because at the end of the day, we need to also recognize that Kusinya Antichi did a lot for Ghana football, made some mistakes, but could we have gone another way to ensure that whatever happens, we continue and build on what Nyantechi did. Whatever happens, Keto Kreku has done something positive. We should continue and build on that. But what's happening now is that people have, are disillusioned. They've lost faith. They've lost hope. And the perception is that football is corrupt. As a football person, I am not corrupt. So I need to come out and say that, no, if the ecosystem is made up of different parties and different people. It's not everybody in, if football is corrupt, then we need to uproot everything and start from afresh. But it's not everybody in football that is corrupt. But that perception persists because of maybe the posturing, the body language, the, the negative reports, the evidence of things that really shouldn't be happening in our football um, industry. So we need to listen to all stakeholders and try to find a way forward. But if we sit back on radio, on TV, and talk, you know, the talk shop, I, that has been done. This is the next step. And I think here the FA would realize that no, people really are not happy. Let's do something about it. So I'm here to show solidarity uh, with my media, you know, Obama and the rest of them, as well as the supporters, as well as those who are coming from corporate Ghana. I met a couple of people from corporate Ghana. They are stakeholders. They are the sponsors. If they think football 
is not, um, what's the word to use? You know, if they feel that football is not something attractive for them to put their money in, we're all in trouble. Football is what has made a lot of us who we are. So we need to also come out and voice our displeasure. Thank you so much for your time. Why are you joining us today? First of all, I'm a football lover and I'm passionate about football, especially Ghana football. And I think it's about time we, we put our authorities on their toes. Right. So what specifically do you think should be done, either by the GFA or the National Sports Authority? A lot has to be done there. We sent a petition to them, so they should go through and, and do the right thing. There are a lot of things that need to be done. Player power, maintenance culture, um, management, um, allocation of funds. Like, there's a lot that needs to be done, and I think we've been negligent for too long, so it's about time we put them on their toes. Just before I let you go, today we, we saw the ministerial reshuffle by the president. The current sports minister, Mustafa Yusuf, is actually still in office. What do you think about that? First of all, first of all I was a bit disappointed, but personally, I don't care if he's there or he's not there. I think we, we, we just need a lasting solution to the problem. Whatever we are facing, if, if there needs to be another reshuffling, if we need to get new ministers, if we need to get a new board, if we have to quit football for, for um, international football for two, three years to restructure our system, I'm down for it as long as it's a lasting solution because I think we have too many talented players to be, to be having the circus in Ghana football. Before I let you go, as a Ghanaian, the finance minister has now been sacked. What do you think now? <laughs> it's like it's like doing an eight, eight minutes sound when you're already losing like by seven goals to nil. I mean it's it's already done. Like an extra time. There's no extra time. There's no extra time. <laughs> the harm has already been done. It's, it, it came too late. I mean there's there's nothing new. I, I I've, I'm here to go through the whole reshuffling thing, but I'm not excited or I mean there's nothing new about it. There's nothing new. So yeah. Thank you, boss. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Why are you here? Eh, the entire Mohanam ne se. En ne sa o wichi ake se ya ye ye ti ate se ya ye si Ghana en kran ban tenso ya ye ye ni abrepa. Yeah, ye ni abrepa Ghana football ho eh se. En ne se se kwa as se as se egu. Omo de minim som ne omo de akaje face ya. En omo de adi bo omo do kono so en kran ha no madi ya ye ni e ye egu en uti ne Mohanam. So what do you think should be done? Dear, I say, I am say, I am Pamono. I will be able to say, I am Pamono. Quite in the Penny Beam. Yep, yeah, or Quadada. I can say, Jeffrey, 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 Yam Pamono. Yam Pamono, Yan Yanni Beam, or say Ghana football, what say no crave ye, and call ye a bon can 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 can. Yes, or Potas Junior, Yan Yan Yabre. Yeni abre minister ne yam pamone yeni abre yeni abre and came free yem free yem free e yiton e medru hanom yem fe wiemu e medru hanom yeni abre o she na Ghana football football di ano na ma Ghana yede ano ne sustaini yani ni party ma mu fe yete Ghana mu ano ne ma yeni yeje yeni je na se obe se football kwa se ya na yeni yeni supporter su ye beti ma kotine wiemu Oh, media, na wali em kroni anije but ya bobo a otimi kwotena ma ne ye den eje na kwotena ma ne ni beje a na afi odi awre ho asa ade akwa na wali ase obekwa na ni kru jojo no na ne yiri jojo no but okko na okko hebo no na se ye sha odi anije be den e be be fie empanfo no mu gutim no o mu gutim no gun no kwa o mu gun na wie enti ye sra wo mu a gana bo no o mu nya de ye ma ye players player o twa I'm one of you film. The above one on Fanny Shim. Obini Mumbo and Natina Bench. The only Mumbo is the county. Yet in I denied the Nabit Chinam. At the entrance of Banisa, Yen I or my back. The Otto Bench nor your gun and me. The Adenabon also your gun and me. At the entrance of your genius can't say I denied a Yadina Shim. And this is Siano. So I'm on your former yet to me, I yet to Mamma Fuano. Yakasaba Jet, near any year. To see a gun, I say no. As a coach, I have a never coach or you. Mum coach, that's your funnel. Because you're not looking for a gym, you're not looking for a gym. 
ti ono no ni selection obeya dey obeye ti ono na ya ni e pe no gana ha ya mpe de obe obe ko coach no ono mo makoye selection na ma coach no na de biya the problem ni ya dey e ma coach no so na nye coach no na afi mpanyimfo no ma no asem nyina no no boss wo be so kasa eh be so mi kasa pa eh ye gana football no i say i say totally ya fi say ye pe say ye black stars team no eye yi a o mi su local players more local players no mu ja for for you no mu kona o mu ko say player no e no asem no no ye na bro o mu say scout ye 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 juma o mu ti tax na mu ti tax a na mu 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 da kwa no ma ko say for players no mu bo bot kan e we e we mu no to mu su local players ye pe local players e we ye team e o black star eh o me che goals o me che goals ye ye we code voa code voa number 24 no we local player che bo bo eh it is a local player sir yes you local player sir yes chale chale me me call me bobo me replace me to my bobo sir ah ye bobo it will be you local players no ye pe local players more than foreigners mase ma no no local players no local say jeff a training local players on no call say some some office no office where you say pa mo mu nyina me call me to me to your coach e ba ni coach am to your coach ya pa mo mu nyina ya for the babu from ba o ma ya ni politics so ma ya ni politics ya so be ni ya so ya ni be kwa e so ya no made ni ya ya ko e duwa kan be hu e so mu si sa mu si sa jeff no office na kasa no mu gunu o mu gu office no then for from ba e no no mase ma no no Okay, means so there may can say, Yema fairness, Emra Ghana football. Fairness, no, Emre Mumo, because the only born a soul bo, and yet they are Nepa Paji D, and I say Nepa Pawuska now, or Mami Wuska. But a boo or cry, Neba a cheddar, I made their channel, or no, Eddie Beb Pedia Busiane, Amagana D, a co. Enim Aquaman saying, Ben, I'm so new scantino. And ya dear Nebano, obey a boy, no be a boy. And I saw obey me, adding a talent, and I be a boy of mine. And Tim Payne Forno, and Payne Forno, and I say a president. And in Payne Forno, I will be beyond bet me, dear boy, Ghana football. Or more money call, and no, no, because Ghana for do do not yet try a shianina. Like ye 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 ni so adi mu ane se ana ye de de ye ni ina ane se ye be ma sa fairness no aye juma ewo football num because aye sa Ghana ye chi ye ching kwa na ye ko ukwa ukwa abrochira I don't think say sa ne de selecti players but Ghana ano adi ano e e kaho aye che we ye FA president to cry what a team who teams. Uh, Vice, our uh, teams near there in the other teams are uh, on war, a tree, a beer, or well, crassy baby, or only ball bono. Sulem Muntari say, Yet your baby are not a warno. Sanka or Moody, sir, Subani, Dinan, Kayashra, dear. In the moment, sir, a Sikasem near the end of the Ghana football and Brassy, na and boy. And us, oh, yes, sir, old Gukosi and the Chen Masi. And I wake up. Young Kobida, Nusu Kosian Techi, to Wama Yako, work up Mianza. Get your crack up, so Yako, come teach about Bakum Mianza, and I say, Miano, Nina, you're failing. And the Osha, what do you mind, Ordinam? Shell, Sisia, Ononquan the press, Ononquan it's a press, thirteen press, and war a blastam. Yet the local press, yet per se, yet the local press, yet no ball, no acquaintance are falling press on the wire, our ball. Ya can be bitch or mine, Jalan's beat maybe on him saying, Yeah, as my yakano, Yakan was a sem. Now, so football, Eddie Yakuma, so share me jam where I blast, blast, I just can see me to me, share, then you got a semi. And the Pesanke, pay funny number, no two nurses, sir, near all get so crack, Yano, and yet, open coach, and in just a football night, aye, so we are, sir, um, um, pet will be as a ma, minia. Ye ye kanu kwa chao se kusini ateji oyasi ni kato kwa kuku inti ya pesa Ghana football etu mi jana nasu se ya mpesa ya tbaya politics inti sisi ya yomi ya mpesa anga fifa mbemu na sa obani ya baya se twenty years ten years kwa ane ya tumia angwa ni ya tumia shisha ya bibia ya dia ebotu ma abuaya she has to go collapse kumasa santu kato kuni ina collapse nasu embla ai wan former coachi ah wewe onu kwa tumi has to go adi ya kwa 
wake up. You tell me I go back from this year. You are winning there, but yeah, 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 yeah. Edema. And the person local press. You tell me I don't. I go back home. Maybe be tell me I don't. I go and carry there. Edema. Bye bye. Our football is a sport beyond repairs. Mm. Teams we used to beat comprehensively now we can't beat them. Even two goals is not enough. Look at our last game. We scored two nil by 89 minutes. We're leading with two goals. By the, by the time the referee had it six, it was already 2-2. Two, two. And I'm sure if I had gone beyond six minutes of additional time, they would have messed us up. They would have drunk with Oto. Oh, Charlie. So it's, what it's actually do you think is the way forward? What do you want the GFA to do? No, I, the think, sports ministry? I think this particular FA should be dissolved. Mm. Because I heard Nigeria, those who went to the final, took 1.5 million US dollars as their budget. Mm. And we didn't even disclose that. It's only for, only for us to hear that it's 8.5 million. It's, it's very bad. It needs to be taken out. Like, the whole Ministry of Youth and Sports, since the time he was, he came into power. It's it's only group stage. We just play three matches and we are out. Nothing is going. Nothing is coming. Our, our squad keeps on changing. Players who deserve to be called into the national team are nowhere to be found. And those who are not on form are the ones playing. Day in, day out, day in, day out. It's the same thing over and over again. Our coaches don't learn. Black stars used to have coaches, big, big, big coaches like Claude Leroy, with Harry Renard as his deputy. And now we are having coaches who have been in the house for five years and over. They are the ones coaching the national team. You can't see their tactics. You don't know where they are going. You don't know where they are coming from. Nobody is able to read a game and is able to tweak the tactics. And now Black Stars is losing. Now we go group stage, the World Cup group stage. So far, our best performance since it was taken from 16 teams to 24 teams in AFCON is now round of 16. And for how long are we going to be exiting the group stages before something better is done about it? So do you actually think this demonstration today is actually going to pull some results? Yeah, I think this is the first time something like this has happened, if, if I'm right. Yeah. And so, something has to change because we've sat down, we cry behind our TV sets, we go to bed, nothing happens. I think now we've woken up. We are very interested because no matter how bad it disappoints us, it's a team. If they blame them out tomorrow, some of us will watch and we want to see them win. So I think this, this will go very far. Uh, I came here for the future of the whole nation, mm. including my son, my son's future. He's very is a footballer. My son is four years, and I was a footballer. I even have a documentary with TV3 about football. I'm an ex-football player, so I have a documentary with TV3 years, years back. So my, my dad didn't do this for me, so I couldn't get a chance in my football career. So I want to do this for my son, who is four years, so that in future, maybe today, we pave a way for my son to be selected to the national team on merits, not by name. Now we've seen a lot of demonstrators here today to actually petition the GFA and also Parliament. What do you think should be done? Mm, the only thing that must be done is, I think, policies. Because changing of Keto Kriku won't solve anything. Because second of coaches won't solve anything. We changed Kwesina Antechi, remember, and we brought, and we brought Ket. We left Ket for Ket to bring his own ideas. So during his acceptance speech, he said, I'm not going to work, work with my enemies. So he's working with uh, the people that he loves, people like uh, Henry Asante Chum and everything. So we must plan, the nation must get a football plan, a football structure, everything. So if you come, you are not going to use your people and your own ideas. You are going to follow the national agenda, the national plan. So that's it. Now today too, the president has actually reached out for some of the ministers, but as we speak, the youth and sports minister is still in office. He hasn't been reached out What do you think about this? I think maybe the agenda, how, uh, why, the, why the president put him there, the agenda? He has been fulfilled. it. All that they do is create loot and share. So maybe he has a little bit of that create loot and share to do. That's why he's still there. So he knows. He knows the man has not finished the job that he gave to him. That's why the man is still there. Because as, as to me and every Ghanaian, he's not doing anything. He has to be sacked. Why is that President Kofor did a sipon? Uh, 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 Sports Stadium is there, and you are still spending money building Botiman, and you are there celebrating about Botiman. Whilst AC Pond is there, rotten, it's still there. So, what's the good use of the money that Kofu used to build the uh, AC Pond and uh, other things? So, he's still there because he's doing what the president wants him to do that's to create the money, loot, and share. So, that's why he's still there. Sorry, <laughs> uh, 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 to be tell you. During the game between Mozambique, I was in Abidjan oh, okay. to witness the blaster. Mm. I, I initially planned for a three weeks stay in Abidjan. So you're actually hoping for the round of 16? Because obviously it was a done deal because just beat Mozambique and then move into the round of, qualify to the round of 16. Unfortunately, <laughs> it, the unexpected happened. Leading at 89 minutes and then you let a Mozambique team to equalize and send you packing. 
is such an abysma. So from that day till now, I was very emotional, very sad. And then today, seeing the number of people who have turned up just to witness a demonstration, just to exercise their displeasure to the Football Federation, I see it as an encouragement. So a little bit of smile in my heart now. One thing, growing up seeing the Blaster play, the 2006 World Cup in Germany, we were able, our first time in a, a continental tournament, we were able to what, move into the run of 16. Such a great performance. Everybody was behind the team. We hosted it in 2008 here. We were all here, the country 2008, even when we couldn't host and win. Everybody was happy with the team. See, it transferred in, into the 2010 World Cup in South Africa. See, where the, a, 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 an African nation hosting their team call us uh, Bagana Bagana. They are using their own traditional team to call an Africa. Everybody is Ghanaian. We did well. That late go by Asamoah Jan. That brought smile to every ordinary Ghanaian. When we are playing football, we don't know MPP, we don't know NDC. We are united front, facing a common world enemy. And now what is it? We said Nantechi wasn't doing the game well. Anas brought an expose. Same journalist stood behind Anas to sack the GFA boss, Kwesinde Antechi. We brought a man who said he has a football philosophy. Where is the football philosophy? Where is the football philosophy? Now, under 17 has been banned to participate in an international tournament. It is such a shame. And those who are leading the under 17 are still in post. Those management members at the under 17 are still in post. But what has happened? Nothing has been done. Now, a whole blaster team. In the last three AFCON, we have just won only one match at the African continent. A football nation like the Black Stars going to three AFCONs and you've won only one match. A Comoros team beat us. A Mozambique team, a convert team. It's sad. But today, the leaders who organize such protests have really done well. And every Ghanaian has come out just to this spot, to exercise his uh, displeasure against this football FA. I believe that today they will learn something out of what, what has happened. They will see that the ordinary Ghanaian likes his football. He will look up on this and use it as what? A measure. What? To do this football very well. And now, let's start from our local league. Look at what happened in Tamale. A national stadium. And we have a national sports authority who has mandated to what? Govern our, our stadiums, our sports infrastructure. Yesterday I saw them celebrating Botema. Is this same NCA, NSS, NSA, who are going to what? Take overseas to what? It's what? It, not, maintenance. And their record is abysmal. Their record is abysmal. So why do you hand over another such a beautiful edifice that you have just inaugurated to another center? For the sports minister still being opposed, me. For me, I believe that every government has a policy. And the policy that has been laid down by the ministry believes that they were focusing on infrastructure and looking at the 10 multi-purpose buildings that they are building across the 10 regions is commendable. But he has made these people, these football people, influence him to the extent that when he's making decisions for the Black Stars, he doesn't think. Excuse me to say that. He doesn't think. Why could you tell him, let me tell you, somebody is owing you in Kumasi. Thousand Ghana cities, and you use two thousand Ghana cities to go and claim the debt in Kumasi. Are you a normal? Are you a rational human being? No. A football tournament that we are going is seven million. What packet winning price? And you take eight point five to Abidjan. Abidjan, I am a Abidjan, me for a car. Simply because we are Ghana. And then you come, and then the management committee members, you give them hundred thousand Ghana cities each. Oh which is amount to 600,000. And then the winner of the league takes 30,000 as a winning price. What are we doing at, at our football federation? What are we doing at our football federation? So, my brother, today I'm sure that everybody has seen what the ordinary Ghanaian is saying. There are a lot of people working for us who have left their work to come and just dis exercise their displeasure to the football federation. And we believe that going on tomorrow, the Ket Okreko administration will learn some lesson from this and that 
We can afford to mix Morocco. We can afford to mix Mexico, Canada, US of A. We will be in 2026 World Cup and we will what? Make the Ghana Let me ask you this last one. As a Ghanaian, the sports minister is still in post as of today, even though the president has reshuffled. But the uh, finance minister is actually has actually been sacked. What do you think as a Ghanaian? So as I said, I said that every political party has a philosophy. The philosophy that they gave to uh, Honorable Keto Kweku, um, uh, Mustafa Yusif, I believe that when you are rating him uh, over 100%, I'll give that man 60%. Because if you look at the infrastructure that this guy has put across the country, it's just a commendable one. The voter rating, the Kofoidia, which has been inaugurated. So he, he has just been influenced on the part of the football.